This is the practice guide for the bar crawl um, cello in the six period concertino packet. The concept that is new in this piece, there's nothing new in your left hand. All your left hand notes are notes you know how to play. It's six eight. Your time signature is different. Um, everything we've done so far has either been with a four for the bottom note or sometimes with a two for the bottom note when we have a cut time piece. In six eight, the eighth note gets the beat and there are six of them. So examples to look at to help you understand. If you find measure D, where letter D is, count there are six eighth notes in the measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's how we would count through with numbers. The highest number we'd get to is six. And notice that they're grouped in groupings of three. They're not triplets, but in six eight, we group in groups of three. So letter D, with counts, I'll pizzicato so that you can hear it better um, while I count. Letter D with counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, if you look at measure number six, you see there are two dotted quarters in the measure. So think about how many eighth notes are in a dotted quarter. Three. So three times two is six. Therefore, in a six eight, there will always be two dotted quarters in the measure, and then that's the end of the measure. With counts, this measure sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm going to play from beginning um, and then break down the rhythm as I go. So here's right from where you come in at measure three. One, two, three, four, five, six. with counts from beginning, the first rhythm you have is a dotted eighth sixteenth plus eight. With counts that would sound like this. One and three. One and three. So it's almost similar to a dotted quarter in a four four or a three four. One and three to where you play after the second eighth note but before the third eighth note. One and three four five six. That's the rhythm of the first measure. One, two, and three, four, five, six. Here it is again. One, two, and three, four, five, six. Then this quarter note gets two eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Measure five, you get the same rhythm as measure three, but different notes. One, two, and three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, and three. That's where your counts go throughout. Um, at the beginning, it says moderato in two. In six, eight, if it goes quicker, and even at this speed, we don't think about one, two, three, four, five, six, but we think one, two, three, four, five, six, to where there are two big beats in the measure. If I were to get rid of those extra beats, one, two, four, five, six. That's where they fit in, two, three, four, five, six. It makes sense a little faster. So if I were to count something in 6, 8 faster, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Otherwise, I could also count it 1 lolly, 2 lolly, 1 lolly, 2. Um, but for the sake of this video, and since we don't really have any instructional time together, I'm going to keep just counting 1 through 6 for your numbers, and that will help you understand it better. So now I'm going to play from letter B. Actually, I'll play from letter A so that you can hear it again, um, even though it's the same as the beginning, the ending is slightly different. Here's letter A. I'll count as well. One, two, and three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two and three. Two, three, four, five, six. And a dotted half note has six eighth notes in it so it gets a full measure. There's a bow lift and then from letter B we go a little faster. Two, three, four, five, six. C naturals. Two, three, four, five, six. So, and 
so on and so forth. Um, I'm not going to play through the whole thing because this is one of the harder ones, so I expect that a student who is wanting to play this um, can go above and beyond. Once you understand the rhythm, the, um, then the notes are fine. I'm going to play at letter D where it's slightly different. Here's letter D. Those are the patterns that happen throughout this. Um, happy practicing and good luck.